Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing the topic of the four series from the previous video in which today we see some examples. Let's say two examples. So let me give the heading of examples and then what do I do? I take the first example in which my x of t is equal to what? x of t is uh, 1 plus sine omega naught t 1 plus sine of omega naught t plus 2 times cos of omega naught t. So this is my question. Now what do I have to do? I have to find the Fourier series representation or what do you think you say the, 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 the Fourier coefficients. Fine. So we know that x of t is equal to summation and this and that, let it go. We know that a k is equal to 1 upon t and this and that, we know this single is periodic, let it go. Why am I talking about like this? Because these are simple signals and I could simply write it in terms of exponentials. And how is that? So from the Euler's theorem, from the Euler's theorem. And you know what is the Euler's theorem. So I could write that my x of t is equal to 1 plus. So in place of sine, I could write an exponential of j omega naught t minus exponential of minus j omega naught t. And this is the whole divided by a 2j. And I believe this is a plus. And let me check. So this is a minus, right? And then in case of uh, in case of that cause you have a two times you have an exponential of j omega naught t and then you have a minus exponential of minus j omega naught t and this is divided by two. We don't have a j over here, right? So that is a plus and that is a minus. So this is a plus. I did a mistake again. Right. So this is fine. So what have I done is that I have you know, written my sine and cosine in terms of the complex exponentials and this is what we know from the basic Euler's theorem. Now what do I have is, let's say I uh, do what? I combine, I combine what? I combine uh, the, the similar frequency terms. Yes? Yes. So what do I have is, I have that my x of t would be equal to 1, then you have a plus j omega naught t upon 2j, and then over here you have 2 and 2 would cancel out. So you would have what? Exponential of j omega naught t, uh, well this I have to take common, exponential of j omega naught t is common, uh, over here you have 1 over 2j, and over there you have what? You have a plus 1. 1 plus 1 over 2j in the exponential, yes, this is fine. And then the remaining two terms, so this is with a negative frequency, so then if I write a plus, uh, uh, an exponential of negative j omega naught t, uh, what do I have? I would have a 2, 2 would cancel out 1 and then minus 1 upon 2j. So these are the three frequencies. So now what do I have? I have an omega naught, I have a negative omega naught and I don't have an omega naught which means for here omega naught is zero. So which means that I have my three Fourier coefficients over here. This means that my a naught is equal to one, right? Then my a one, this is for omega naught, this is a one is equal to one plus one upon two j, right? And then what do you have? Uh, a2 is what? A2, uh, we don't have an A2 and we have an A of negative 1. This is 1 minus 1 upon 2j. Fine. So this is for the first example. The other coefficients are what? The other coefficients are 0. Let me write. If uh, ak is equal to 0, for the magnitude of k greater than 1. This is it. Fine. Let me get to the next example. Or oh, wait a minute. I missed something. I missed something over here. Plus cos of 2 omega naught t plus cos of 
2 omega naught t plus pi by 4 so this is what i missed and now this signal this signal is, is now your homework let me write it in h of t so this would be homework so now you 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 you, you do it as a homework fine the next example that i take is a periodic square wave periodic square wave or you say the clock pulse as you know so so if this is like this right and similarly you have it on this side as well so let 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 uh, somewhere here be my origin so if this is zero this point would be the value of the period t and let me name this general point as t1 fine so so this is what i'm talking about this is my x of t and this is my t axis now what do i have again i have to do the same thing so now we need to know we need to know the fourier coefficients as x of t the synthesis equation is uh, k running from negative infinity to positive infinity a k exponential of uh, negative j k omega naught t isn't it like this it is but we don't have a negative sign fine so we need to find the fourier coefficients and how we find it we, we know that our a k is equal to 1 upon t integration over one period x of t exponential of negative j k omega naught t j k omega naught t and this integration is with respect to t fine so this is how we do it now if a signal is symmetrical as in this case so we prefer to use from a minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 i told you whatever you want to take the period the book says over here for symmetrical we generally prefer a t by 2 from a negative t by 2 to a positive t by 2 this is what we prefer when the signal is symmetrical otherwise we could take any values you know you can do it from 0 to t fine so in this case what do i have is 1 over t uh, and, and let me uh, you know so write it down 1 over t and i take it from a negative t by 2 to a positive t by 2 fine now what do you have a negative t by 2 to positive t by 2 in this the signal exists from a negative t1 to positive t1 so i could write it as this uh, that 1 over t and the integration is from negative t1 to positive t1 the value of x of t is 1 in over here 0 over here so i could write 1 in this particular interval it's 1 so we would have a directly exponential of negative j k omega naught t dt isn't it like this it is now solving this by your own self uh, well you know it's simple enough i would uh, you know directly write the relation directly i would write the relation that is equal to uh, this would be one upon j k omega naught this would come down j k omega naught uh, into t would it would have a negative sign but i'm multiplying it inside to get it like this exponential of j k omega naught t1 minus exponential of negative j k omega naught t1 so this is what i get fine now what do i have if you have a look to it closely so this could be this sinusoidal signal like this like this sorry so if i you know uh, take this j from here i write it with this j and then i multiply and divide by a 2 so what do i have this i can replace by a sign of j k omega naught t yes yes i could replace it by a sign of k omega naught t and i would have my a k over here like this so the value would come out that is my a k this would be equal to sign of k omega naught t upon k omega naught t and of course this is for k not equal to zero so this is my four year coefficient for k not equal to zero now for a naught what would i have for a naught so if i have my a naught this would be the case that one over t integration over one period it would be directly x of t dt so you could write it as uh, uh, what could I say? 
I have taken it again, uh, you know, from negative t by 1 to a positive t by 1. T1, sorry. So I took it from negative T1 to positive T1, the same limits. This would give me what? This would give me, the integration would give me 2T1 by T. The integration would, this would give me 2T1 and this is T. So which means that my A0 is 2T1 upon T. Is that clear till here? Now coming back to this, coming back to this. So we don't know omega naught. We don't know, uh, wait, I missed something over here. Yes. No, I'm not missed. So omega naught into t is, you know, that this would be a 2 pi. And we have this a capital T, okay? So I made a mistake over here. This is the capital T. So omega naught into capital T means the fundamental period. So omega naught into capital T would be 2 pi. Omega naught into t is a capital, uh, capital T is a 2 pi, right? So what could I write is that my a k would be equal to... Uh, sine of omega naught t1 over here we have a t1 why am i doing mistakes i think i'm tired i'm think i'm tired so i would write my ak directly i would have a copy paste from here ak would be sine of k omega naught t1 sine of k omega naught t1 and this would be divided i k2 pi k pi k pi k pi and i have missed a two over here as well so which means that i've made a lot of mistakes over here this two i missed over here fine so this is now my a k now i need some information on t1 so i need some information on t1 if i'm talking uh, particularly about this example if i talk particularly about this example so what do i have have a look t1 the relation between t1 and and and, and t is what this is one t1 right this is the second t1 this is the third t1 this is the fourth t1 so what do i have is that capital t is equal to four times of t1 or you could say that t1 is equal to t upon 4 so from here i could write t1 is equal to t upon 4 uh, and you have a 2 over here and you have a t over here so this would come out that a naught would come out to be 1 over 2 my a naught that is the dc component would come out to be 1 upon 2 my a naught is 1 upon 2 this is one thing that i've got from here and the next thing is that i could write from here i could write sine of k and in case of omega naught i write 2 pi upon t naught right and then in case of t1 i write t naught upon 4 and then i have k pi uh, over here so what do i have t naught cancels out with 2 naught 4 cancels out with 2 so i have is the remaining thing is that my a k is equal to sine of k pi upon 2 sine of k pi by 2 divided by k pi so this is for k not equal to 0 and for k equal to 0 i have got my answer so now i would just be putting values in this and i would be getting my values so let me have some space over here okay So what do I have is, now my A0 is already 1 over 2, right? A0 is already 1 over 2. Now you tell me A1. A1 would be what? You put 1 in this, k equal to 1, sine pi by 2 is 1, sine pi uh, 1 upon pi, 1 upon pi. You put a negative 1, what do you have? You have a negative uh, 1 over here, you have a negative 1 over here. So you have 1 upon pi again. E of negative 1 is 1 upon pi again. Yes. Then uh, for A2, what do you have? 2 sine of pi would be 0. So this would be 0. Similarly, for A of negative 2, it would be 0. For A3, what do I have? 3 pi by 2. Pi by 2, it is 270 degrees. is a negative 1. And negative 1 upon pi right a3 is negative 1 upon 3 pi yes 
negative 1 upon 3 pi that's fine a a a 4 a negative 3 so if you put a negative 3 okay so negative uh, 3 pi by 2 would be a plus 1 and then over here you have a minus so this would give you again a negative 1 over 3 pi you would have a negative 1 over 3 pi again similarly for the e1 it's again going to be 0 a4 a negative 4 would be 0 a5 would give me what a5 would give me 1 over 5 pi a negative 5 would give me a 1 over 5 pi again fine and similarly this goes on and on and on but the thing that now I want to show you is now the graphical representation and the graphical representation of this is known as the line spectrum this is known as the line spectrum what do I have I have uh, this is K these are my a keys and I did not draw it in the previous case so in the previous case we had the real part we had the imaginary part okay we had J so for that case you would have to draw two graphs fine uh, let me tell you that uh, for example if you have a one, uh, first I draw this so I will tell you that so if you have a zero for zero it is one over two uh, where is it yes it's one over two one upon pi is greater right yeah? so this is a naught then at a one you have a uh, one upon pi at negative one you have one upon pi at two it's zero at negative two it's zero at three is one upon five pi at, at, at negative 3 is 1 upon 5 pi so it's reducing right at 4 it's 0 at 5 it would be much smaller again so have a look so this sort of a graph you don't need to draw an arrow you don't need to draw an, a dot this is the graph this is known as the line spectrum what is this suggesting this is suggesting that which frequency component is contributing more in the formation of this signal the higher the amplitude the more it is contributing into the formation of that signal this is omega is equal to zero the dc component this is omega naught this is two omega naught this is three omega naught four omega naught five omega naught, which means these are the harmonics the dc component the first harmonic second harmonic third so if you see the first harmonic is contributing more and the dc contribute the dc component the rest harmonics are contributing very less and less so this is what a line spectrum gives you this gives you the idea of which harmonic is contributing more in the formation of the signal fine this is the graph for the magnitude of AK. If you have the phase as well, which means if you have the imaginary part as you have 1 plus 1 over 2J. So this is the magnitude, the real part that is over there you, or, or, the, or the magnitude you find by your own way. And the phase also you find by your own way. You know how to find it. So, so the tangent inverse, something like that. So one graph is for the real part and the other part is for the imaginary part I think I have an example in the book which I did not mention that part so that I also gave you as a homework so you do that homework you would understand it it's example example number 3.4 yes so I missed the, the last component otherwise we would have seen it together so you do it yourself and you'd understand it that simple now you would be uh, or, or wait 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 I have a mistake again uh, we have a the positive we show upwards, the negative we show downwards. So it's 1 upon pi is upwards or 1 upon pi is upwards. But you know at a 3 and a negative 3, it's a negative 1 upon 3. So I would have to show it like this. I have to show it like this. Fine. So positive you show upwards negative you show downwards no i don't know this now you would be asking a question if this is omega naught this is two mega three mega what do we have to do with the negative so this is again the same omega naught but negative of omega naught this is the same two mega naught but a negative of two mega naught which physically has no meaning which in real life it has no meaning negative frequency have you heard negative five is the frequency of this thing it has no meaning so therefore i did not touch this part of it fine and now uh, uh, we also have another question the strength the 
the upward and the downward so now some of them are up facing upward some of them are facing downward now the upward mean that if this is the signal with omega naught you know this omega naught so this is the facing upward this is contributing more and if you have another signal with an omega naught like this so this would be facing downward which means that this is now contributing less in the formation so the negative is with the green color the positive is with the blue color and that is it for today this is the line spectrum that is it for today i'm feeling very tired and yes that's all see you in the next lecture with maybe a new topic the convergence i believe so till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers goodbye